What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping back on that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are showcasing a team made by 2017 world champion Ryoto Osabu. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and clicking that big red subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Seriously, it only takes a second of your guys' time to support me, so I thank everybody who does. But starting off in this top left corner, we have Tornadus over here. We have Tornadus, who is a great support mod. A great support mod for legit any team over here. We got Prankster ability, Mental Herb as its item, Air Slash, Swagger, Tailwind, and Taunt. Absolutely love this moveset. It's going to be able to pair well with our Zygarde, and it's going to be able to take out special attackers left and right, considering we can boost their attack, which will do nothing and confuse them at the same time. Zygarde is right next to him, like I just said, with that power construct and that Lumberry. The Lumberry is legit here, so we can use a Swagger on this Pokemon. And by Swaggering him, we will confuse him, but at the same time, give him that uh, plus two attack. But at the same time, the Lumberry will take away the confusion, making this Pokemon just an absolute beast and hitting hard left and right. Thousand Arrows for Stab, Crunch for Coverage, Dragon Dance to set up that Speed Boost and Attack Boost, and Protect for this Pokemon's final move. Middle left, we have Tapu Fini, great Pokemon in any instance and any team. Misty Surge ability, Leftovers as an item, and then this normal awesome move set of Muddy Water, Moon Blast, Calm Mind, and Protect. Middle right over here is a Pokemon I have not used on the rank ladder ever. Maybe once. Maybe once. I'm not going to say ever, but maybe once. But this Pokemon, you guys know, I never use it. It is Salazzle over here. Poison and Fire type, such a cool typing over here. Cannot wait to use it and grab some wins with it. We got Oblivious ability, which is great, especially up against Intimidate Pokemon. And then we got Life Orb over here. To actually make this thing do more damage. We got Sludge Bomb, Overheat, Fake Out, and Swagger for this Pokemon. So we can flinch, we can Swagger up on our Zygarde, Swagger up on their special attacking Pokemon, and then we can deal some big damage with Sludge Bomb and Overheat. Bottom left is Regilecki. I'm not even going to say anything about that Pokemon. We already know everything about him. Everybody uses him for the same reason, speed control or hitting hard. So if you guys really want to get an in-depth analysis, do it yourself. It is down in that bottom left corner. Ferrothorn is our final Pokemon in that bottom right corner, though, with Iron Barbs and Assault Vest. And I absolutely love this Pokemon. I feel like he is super, super solid all around, except for when going up against Fire Pokemon. Obviously, he just gets stumped on. But this thing's rocking Power Whip, Gyro Ball, Knock Off to take off items, and Steel Lore for its final move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with the 2017 World Champion team. Let's get rolling here, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our first battle, and we are coming off a 3-0 video for the brand new season, so we're sitting 3-0 for the new season. Hopefully, we can make it 4-0, but this guy's got a pretty cool team, but kind of contradicts itself right here. He has a sun slash rain team? Don't really know. Slash sand team? Actually, yeah, no, that's three weathers. You can go into the Venusaur Torkoal combo. You can go into the Tyranitar Sand Rush uh, Draco Zone combo, or you can just go into rain with Kyogre, who thrives on his own, and then he has Tailwind with the Braviary. So I feel like each two kind of pair well with each other. So let's get after this one. Let's try to grab ourselves a win here. I am probably going to lead the Tornadus. Try to get Tailwind set up. And I could go Zygarde. I could go Zygarde turn one. Try to uh, try and Lumberry up. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And then I am going to bring this lovely little Salazzle. And then final Pokemon. I think it has to be Regilecki, right? Regilecki with the Sash. Got to bring him out. Such a good Pokemon all around. So we're definitely going to bring him out and get Rocket out from there. But uh... Guys, let me know for question of the day. What is the highest rank you guys have ever gotten in Pokemon Sword Shield? Whether it be singles or doubles, let me know in the comment section down below. Personally, for me, I hit top 500 like once. It was like around top 500. I don't know the exact number, but that was a while back. I haven't pushed in so long. And I know I've gotten so much better at this game. So maybe I should start pushing again. I haven't pushed, like I said, in so long. So I'm thinking of maybe doing it again soon. But he is going to lead the Draco Zone alongside with this Tornados. Well, not Tornados. Alongside with the T-Tar. And I'm, I can kind of get down with that. I can kind of get down with that. And I think I'm just going to set up a Tailwind. And I might protect turn one. It does have that Sand Rush. I'm going to go for a thousand hours right off the rip. I am ground. I'm thinking of just protecting here. I could Dragon Dance. That's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to protect. I am just going to protect. Set up a Tailwind and see how we can knock out from there. Our Tailwind will be out and about. So we can definitely outspeed the T-Tar. But that Sand Rush is definitely a little scary. I ain't going to lie. Definitely a little scary. So, we'll see how this dude plays this one. Because if I can keep my, uh, what's called, still alive here. If I can keep my Tornado still alive here, I can swagger up into my, uh, my Lumberry Zygarde. And kind of just get rocking out from there. But we'll see how this, uh, what he does with this. The tail went out and about. Give me that speed, baby. Give me that speed. 
He's gonna go for a bolt beak. So see you later, Tornado. You're out of here, dude. All day. See you, buddy. Thanks for coming. Thanks for showing up. I'm guessing that rock side was probably coming out. But I had to guess, right? Let's see. So he does show me speed. Which is great. And a crunch was flying through. A lovely little crunch was flying through. Okay. So with all that going on, I think I'm just gonna bring out Salazzle. And I think I'm just gonna do I fake out thousand arrows? Or do I swagger thousand? I think I swagger thousand arrows, because then I could potentially pick up the easy double kill instead of faking out. I'm just gonna rock. Bad, bad, bad. We're just gonna rock out with thousand arrows. I'm speak like that. I'm thinking this is the play. I'm thinking this is the play all day. Swagger's gonna fly through. Hey, we're gonna say, hey, take this attack boost. You're confused though, but then take off confusion with the lumber. That's how we're rocking here. Let's get it. Give me the ducks. Give me the ducks. Now let me eat my berry because I'm hungry. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Thousand arrows is gonna come out before the Jericho's ult, which is huge. That should be able to take him out no problem. And easy. Ooh, I was gonna say easy double kill. But is this thing sashed? Is this thing sashed? What Tyranitar is sashed? That makes no sense. That was gonna take out my Salazzle. That thing, that thing's not sad. She's weakness policy. Yo, what? No shot. No shot that thing gets a free focus ash. Yo, I feel like every single video I'm giving out free focus ashes. That thing is legit on one. He's legitimately on one HP. What is this game? Look at that thing. This game stinks. <laughs> this game stinks, man. Yo, what? I thought it was Sash because, you know, it made that item animation. Next thing I know, this thing is rocking out with a... With a dang, what's it called? A weakness policy. I'm definitely gonna drop E-Web. And then I go on a thousand hours. Where do I just drop a nice little punch here? Hmm. It's gonna do more damage than this stab. So I'm just gonna go into a thousand hours. E-Web is gonna be able to come out here first. Which will be able to take out Tyranitar. He's just gonna withdraw Tyranitar. So I'm with that all day. What's he gonna do? Cha oh, he's gonna change the weather. But, it's great that I'm going into this E-Web. Because that Venusaur should not be able to outspeed me in this Tailwind after this E-Web. I'm sorry, Venusaur. I'm super sorry. Super sorry I do that. And Torkoal, I'm going to have to tell you the, uh, to go home get out, get out my game. Because I'm going to take you out of here. I'm definitely taking out Torkoal. I should be able to take out Venusaur as well. We're plus two. Now, come on, man. We're plus two. Thousand hours. Dropping yet again. No more free focus ashes. We bring this thing down a little bit. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, so as long as my Regilecki survives, we're thriving here. Yeah, we're, we're fine. We're fine. He's Sleep Powders. We're totally thriving here. This should be GG's because Regilecki's going to be able to outspeed the Tyranitar and the what's it called? And the, uh, the Venusaur. Plus, he's going to change weather. So, E-Web's just going to be able to double up. Take them both out. We're going to be able to grab ourselves an easy win. An easy win. But yo, look at that thing's hell. What is this game, bro? What's this game? Like, look at that thing's hell. It's just chilling there. But yeah, I think this dude's team. Triple weather? Might have to make a video on it. Might have to make a video on that one. That is sick. Triple weather's sick. But he's probably just going to cancel or he's going to let my E-Web fly. E-Web should probably connect on both these guys. He's going to end up just protecting that Tyranitar. I'm totally fine with it. E-Web's going to get blocked and it should definitely hit this Venusaur and 100% take it out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. Not dealing with him. Not dealing with it, bro. Bring that thing really low. Bring the Tyranitar down to a free focus edge. But, yo, it was crazy because, dude, the animation came out. And I was sitting there, I was like, yo, who the heck uses focus ash on Tyranitar? Next thing I know, it said, weakness policy has been activated. I'm like, what? I'm like, get out of here, bro. <laughs> but I'm not going to be using E-Web. I'm going to be using Bolt Switch here because, you know, E-Web can miss. It can miss, and I really don't want to risk it. So, I'm just going to go into Bolt Switch even though I think it's going to cancel. No, he doesn't cancel. Bolt Switch is going to fly through here. Pick up that final KO and grab ourselves a win in battle number one and keep our win streak alive. We're not sitting at a four, so let's hop into our second battle for today's video and make it a five-game win streak. You know what? This is what we get for not being in Mass Ball tier yet. We are super, super close. We're sitting in Ultra Ball tier. I think if we get this win, we will be in Mass Ball tier because, like I said, it's a new season. But this guy has a Chansey, right? Yeah, Chansey, Shuckle, uh, what the, whatever that bat's called. Is it Wubat or Wubat second stage? I totally forget, but that thing can actually be decent support. I've seen people use that before. And then he also has his eye guard. And then Mimikyu and Torko for weather control. But one Pokemon I'm definitely scared of is that Shuckle. Is 100% that Shuckle with the power split. Can do some crazy things. So I definitely want to watch out for him. Uh, how should I go out into this battle? I think I'm going to lead Salazzle. Try to get him a bit more loving on the Salazzle considering he got dumped on. 
due to the free focus action that last one. I think I'm just gonna lead the Slazzle. He does have the Rock Pokemon, so I, ooh, I could bring Ferrothorn in turn one. Which I am. We're gonna have some fun with this one. We're gonna have some fun with this one. We're not even gonna bring our top dogs. We're not even gonna bring our top dogs. We're bringing Regilecki. I'm not gonna bring my tail. We don't need it. I don't want it. I don't even want it. I wanna have some fun with this one. And then Zygarde or Tapu Fini. I think Zygarde would just rock out a little bit better here. Or you know what, dude? Top of Finny's great. Let's go Top of Finny here. Get our Top of Finny, yo. Zygarde, stay in the back. Tailwind user Tornado, stay in the back. We don't need you this one. We don't need you this one. We're gonna rock out here with these guys in the bottom. Man. The bottom. The bottom four is gonna get me a win here. But yeah, this dude's team's throwing me off. But this is why I like I love playing in a new season. It's because like you start off in that lower tier, so you get a lot of off meta, you get something different. So pretty cool to be seeing this one. Let's see what let's see what this guy can do with this one. He's gonna start off with Mimi Mimi Cubes and Zygarde. We're gonna bring out my Salazzle Lazzle and Ferrothorn. And Ferrothorn. I am just going to fake out over onto the Zygarde. And then do I just Gyro Ball? Mm, probably, right? Or do I take off item and disguise here? Yeah, I'm gonna take off item and disguise here. That's something I'm gonna I don't even know why I let the Ferrothorn. Like, dude, <laughs> I don't even know why. Doesn't even really thrive, but it's just like it's Ferrothorn, yeah. I want to use him. I just want to use my boy. He flinches. Taunt is gonna come out here. Oh, yo! Thank you for taunting me. Thank you, cause I'm coming after you anyway, buddy. I'm coming after you anyway with this knockoff. Now give me your disguise and give me your item as well. Disguise comes off, and what item were you holding, Mr. Crown Face? Mr. Crown Face over here. What item you got? Your mental hood. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, could drop a nice little sludgy bomb. I could just overheat, I could swap. Could be going for a thousand arrows, and that could be scary, so I might go into you. And just gyro ball take out. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna gyro ball take out. Swap my slazzle for later. For later, because I'm definitely gonna need this thing with its life orb and its fake out. I definitely wanna just do a hard swap here. Bring out my tapu. My tapu will wapu. My Tapu will whop you. That's, that's what we're going to call it. My Tapu will whop you. Because it's going to take you out. We're bringing this Pokemon out here. Hopefully he's going for a Dragon move. He's just going to go for a thousand waves. It's crazy. The difference between a thousand waves and a thousand arrows. I don't really know. Oh, we can't escape. That's so cool. I do like thousand arrows a little bit better though. Considering it hits flying Pokemon. We can't escape. We can say Mimikyu. Yo! This game! This game! What is this game? I don't understand. I just don't understand this game. What is up with the free focus ashes? That's two. That is back-to-back -back battles where this guy, where our opponent is getting super lucky with it. Makes no sense. It just makes no sense. I sit, I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it. Somebody please help me understand this game. Somebody please help me understand this game. Oh my god. We are going to... I could destroy Terrain, but it's... I think I am going to do that. I think I am just going to drop a nice level of Muddy Water here. And I'm just going to dump on Terrain here. So, you know, see you later, Terrain, and get after his icon. Bro, dude, the free Focus Ash. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Steel Roller is going to be able to fly through here. We should be able to take out Mimikyu here. He did set up a Trick Room, which I can kind of get down with, considering I think Ferrothorn might go first now. Yeah, so Seal Roller flying through. We're going to say see you later, Terrain. Look at that. Bop. Getting some damage off on that thing. Loving it. The Mist is going to disappear. Get off some lovely damage for that thing. And the Curse is flying through. This thing is cursing. He's cursing up, yo. Putting the nail for him. He's doing him dirty. Cuts his own HP in half. And he's done. Who did he curse up him? I'm curious, too. Muddy Water is going to fly. Can we take out the side guard? I wish I would have uh, got a nice little Moon Blast. But, nope. This thing is surviving on like two now. And now the thing is rocket thousand arrows. Okay. So we have Ferrothorn definitely going first, which is which is great. This thing is not hitting hard at all. And his life orb takes him out anyway. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. He has two Pokemon left, and my lovely little apple is giving me HP. This little leftover is giving me nice nice lovely 11 HP. Oh no, 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 not my Ferrothorn. Curse my Ferrothorn. We're able to get one more turn off onto him, which is great. And I'm probably just gonna go for a gyro ball. Probably just gonna go for a gyro ball here. Poor Ferrothorn. They cursed him. I might just protect my Finny, get some more HP with my leftovers. He's gonna bring out Chansey here. So I don't know what this Pokemon's doing. It's gotta be Evo Light. and with the Shuckle. <laughs> and with the Shuckle, man. Uh, we definitely wanna drop this Muddy Water. 
That could gyro ball. Man, I wish I would have saved my uh my steel roller for this now. But dude, this thing brought out a shuckle. <laughs> We're playing up against some fun Pokemon. We're playing up against a shuckle and a uh what did we play up against the last one? I thought we played up against some fun Pokemon, but Toxie's gonna come out here. We're gonna avoid it. And I don't think this guy really, really knows how to play double too much. But yo, look at that tank! Things a tank! Seismic Talk is coming out here. And that's cool. You can take out him. The curse was taking him out anyway. Cool with that. And you're gonna take Iron Barb's damage. And you're gonna take Iron Barb's damage. Take it all day. Take it all day. Muddy Water's gonna fly. Luckily, we didn't protect. We're gonna be able to get off some damage onto the Shuckle. Things tanking up. Things a tank. But yeah, this one's pretty much GG. This was an easy battle. I just feel like this guy doesn't play doubles too, too much. Just because of the team he brought. Like, what's chance he can do? We're definitely bringing out our Slazzle because Slazzle is sick. I definitely want to show her off a little bit more in that third and final battle. Get off some bigger fits on him. This thing is life orb. But I'm definitely just going to play it safe and I am just going to fake out the muddy water. Fake out muddy water. Ba -doo -ba -doo. Always got to play it smart. Better safe than sorry. Play the easy moves, guys. Play the easy moves. I'm gonna end up protecting the shucks. That's fine. We're flinching. We're flinching your egg Pokemon over there. We said, hey, let me see your egg. And then we just clapped it from each side and broke the egg. Poor chance, the egg. Now, wouldn't she be considered like a kangaroo in the Pokemon world? Yo, they don't have a kangaroo Pokemon. Bro, they don't have a kangaroo Pokemon. Right? Next gen. Next gen, they gotta make a kangaroo Pokemon. Let me know if I'm wrong. They they had they had do not have a kangaroo Pokemon. 100% do not have a kangaroo Pokemon. 100% they do not have that. Bro, they can make some crazy cool ones. They can make some crazy cool kangaroo Pokemon. Fighting type. Make it ground, make it grass. You can have some crazy ones. He's gonna guard split here. That's totally fine. I'm really I'm really okay with that. Considering the muddy water should be able to take him out easily. And this thing is just gonna guard split and set up a sub. This dude's really trying to win this battle. Like, you're not winning this one. And who avoid that? Was that the Shucks? Was that the Shuckle? Please tell me that wasn't the Shuckle. It was the Shuckle. Of course, the Pokemon that we wanted to hit dodged it. Substitute is still alive. And of course, it's still alive. Now we take it off. Now we take that lovely thing off. We don't... Wait, what? Wait, what? All right, Trick Room's over. Now we got speed. Now we got to be. Now you don't have Trick Room, and I am coming after you. I'm coming after you, Chansey. I am coming after you, Chansey. We're gonna take off that sub first and foremost. I'm surprised that things still survive. I guess it's because of the guards, but able to eat all day. Shuckles protecting. Kind of saw that one coming. Dude, like, what's this guy doing? He really thinks that he can come back from this? Like, we're sitting in the driver's seat here. We're sitting in the driver's seat. There goes the sub. Hopefully Chansey can go down this muddy water, but maybe not. This thing is actually pretty bulky due to his Evo Light. Muddy water's gonna fly. So we get blocked by the shucks. And we go into Mr. Chansey! And now this thing's soft boiling! Dang Chansey. Soft boiling out here. Making eggs. Get this fool out of here, bro. What, like, what, what, what do you have to prove here, buddy? Look at my HP slowly going up. We're back in the green with uh with my what's it called? We're back in the green with my, uh, my top of Finny. We were down, like, low yellow. Too much red. I thought I was going to fly here. Get some damage off on this Pokemon. Finally, this thing is soaking up. Give me a poison. Give me a lovely poison here. And Muddy Water, please kill the Shuffle. Please kill the Shuffle. That's all I ask. Thank you. Later, Shuffle. Later, Shuffle. Get him out of my face. We don't need him here. And we get that act drop on this thing. Now, is this guy really going to stay in here with a chance? That's my question. That is truly my question. This dang dude. What is this dude doing? You know what? You want to do that? You want to play games? Do you really want to play games here? I will set up all day. I'm going straight for the poison. I'm going straight for this poison. I will set up all day. Dude is really staying here. I'm going to set up. You want to play games with me? Oh my. We're boosting our special. I ain't playing around. I ain't playing around. Give me a few turns and I'm coming after you. Let's know that. We got a soft blow again. If I had to guess, you're soft blowing again. Let's get. Ooh. It's buttery biscuit. Alright. Alright. I see you. 
Let's get after this thing. The base is nist is raising. We gotta get after this Pokemon here. Moon blasting. Put over here. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep hitting with my Slazzle until he goes out. Or I might swap next turn. Dodge that attack. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Moon blast flying through. Dang Chansey. Quick damage to substitute fade. Thank you. Thank you. Now what are you doing? Soft boiling. He's gonna minimize again. Alright, we need to hit him here. If we can hit him here, it's game over. If we can both hit him here, it's game over. We're stacking up that HP. We are stacking up that HP, but like, dude, this dude is still going after us like this. We're definitely going for this. We're definitely going for the overheat and the, uh, and the moon blast. Overheat comes out. Yes, it connects. Thank you. Get some damage on this thing. Nah, not a lot at all. Not a lot at all. Moon blast. Can you, can you hit up on this thing? I'd love for it to happen. Moon blast comes through. It connects. Finish this thing. Take him out. Oh my lord. He's gonna... I can't do it. I cannot do it anymore. Like, you hop onto the rank ladder to do this. You do this. You do this. Who hops onto the rank ladder to do this? It makes no sense, right? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. I'm coming out with my Regilecki. Need my Regilecki out of here. Oh my lord. Like, just cancel the battle, bro. We missed, yo. What you mean? No! Like, you're not going to win because you're not going to kill my Pokemon. You're not killing my Pokemon. I, I don't understand. You were not killing my Pokemon. So it's just like, what's the point? I'm going to calm my set up. If you want to play this one slow, we can play this one slow. I'm going to go for Paralyzed here. <sighs> Same game. Minimize. Oh, bro, we miss it now. I'm just gonna keep calm mind. So when we hit, we just dump on this thing. We gonna minimize again or sub? That's seismic toss. That's fine. Ah. We're going for the moon last year. Ah, dang, man. This is how you play. This is how you play, you bunny biscuit. Ah! I can't do it. I just can't deal with this anymore. Try to just cancel. Do I just give him the win? He wants to be this greedy for the win. I might just cancel and give him the win. Actually, no, we're not. We're not letting this chump get a win. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not giving up my perfect record. For this guy. Bro, I swear. I'm gonna find out where this dude lives. I'm gonna find out where this dude lives. I'm gonna find his address. And I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. I'm gonna go in there with my Regilecki and just Thunderbolt on him. Not on this Pokemon, on him himself. Exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, let me, let me soft boil. <laughs> You know, let me calm mine again. Jeez, bro. Can I, can I land a Thunderbolt, please? Thank you. Thank you. Can we take off that, that sub? Thank you. Thank you. What are you going for? Your seismic talks, maybe? Minimize, probably, again. He's probably going to minimize again. He might be all the way boosted. Minimize plus two. He used three of them. This seismic toss. Oh, my lord. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Let's go with the moon blast. Thunderbolt. Bro, he's gonna be able to take out two of my Pokemon. Let's go come down to a 1v1. Bro, I swear, like, dude, why, why do people play like this, guys? I don't understand. Finally, he missed. Finally, he missed. Come on, Thunderbolt, connect. Come on, Thunderbolt. Both you guys connect. Mm. 
lord. Can fake out miss? Like, this is a great question. Can fake out miss? I'm gonna die to my life, bro. I just swagger this thing. Let's just have seismic toss. It's just like, dude, come on. It's like, come on. This is how you be playing. I don't think fake out can miss. Ken, it's a first. That is a first. Oh my lord. Alright guys, you know what I'm gonna do? This is gonna be a long one. My top of Finney has leftovers. I'm just gonna hop to the end of the battle and show you guys what the results are. Wish me luck. We are sitting at the final 46 seconds of this match. And it's just gonna end here. It's gonna end full HP, full HP. And I, I don't know how that one really goes. I really do not know how that ends. Is this, is this gonna be a draw? It's gonna be a draw. I'm at 177. He's at 50. Well, not 50. He's full health. I'm full health. I got 42 seconds left on my move timer and 26 left in battle. And I'm not even going to go for it. I'm not even going to go for it because the chances are I'm going to miss my moon blast. And he's probably going to hit a, uh, a seismic toss. So let's just see where this one ends. But, bro, that was the most annoying match I've ever faced off in. It might end in a draw. It might end in a draw. But I'm hoping we somehow get the win. I really don't know. If we end up losing, I'm going to cry a little bit. Probably just going to cry right here on screen. But this dude really played this whole battle with Chansey just to do that. He took out two of my Pokemon. He was minimized this whole time. I guess I have to click a move. I guess I have to click like a Moonblast or something. Battle does end. Let's click a Moonblast here. And I lost? What do you mean I lost? What is it? How? What? Someone, please let me know how I lost that last battle. We were both at full HP. I just don't understand that we lost to a Chansey. That is so rough and pretty annoying at the same time, considering like he was just sitting there minimizing, doing all that stuff. But I guess that's what I get for saying this guy doesn't really know what he's doing. The game was just like, hey, jeans, now you gotta lose. Now you gotta lose. But hey, we're hopping into our third and final battle, looking for that winning record. This guy's got his asking team alongside with uh, Landorus, Rillaboom, Suicune for that tail when he also has a fake out user with Incineroar, and Rillaboom has fake out as well, and then Regilecki for that speed control. Alright, um, might just want to go into my Regilecki. I go my Regilecki with my Coronatus? I could do that. Or I could, hmm. Or I could go into you and you. What's Jeans one doing? What does Jeans one do? I could go in with that combo. I definitely want to bring Salazzle in here because Salazzle is an absolute beast. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Hmm. What do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do? I don't know what I want to do. I think we're going to go Regilecki into Tornadus. Bring them two. Bring in my Salazzle and then final Pokemon. I'm thinking Zygarde. Get Zygarde a little bit of love in here. Just have the crunch. You just have the ground moves. Work really, really well. I don't wanna, oh, I shouldn't let this Zygarde, I should've went with my, with my instant thought of just Zygarde to an honest combo, cause watch how good it probably would've been. Watch him lead the Regilecki and the, uh, Incineroar. I swear, if he leads both of them, I could've just led these guys, led the to an honest Zygarde, Tailwind, Thousand Arrows, or Protect for the Fake Out, and just been ready for it. Let's see how he rolls out, let's see how he rolls out. Can you cook a Rillaboom? We have plenty of options here. Let's see his play. He's gonna go into Rillaboom and Regilecki, okay. Yeah, I kind of still wish I had my Zygarde combo here. Kind of wish it on that. We're gonna go into our Regilecki. Um, hmm. It does have Fake Out. Could Grassy God. I do have Sash. Uh, I still might just protect my... My Reggie. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna protect my Regilecki. And I am just gonna go for a lovely little Talon. Hopefully he's faking out into Regilecki slot. Let's see. Let's see. Go into my Regilecki. Please go into my Regilecki. Gonna fake out. No! He's e webbing. All right, yo. So now soak this one up. Say, yo, that's the tastiest snack I ever had. Super tasty. You are the best. You are the best. That's a super tasty snack. So we can't glide into me, but I think we're totally thriving here. This e web slowing down these guys because he's probably gonna do the same to me. And it's dropping off a nice, lovely little tail for squad. I'm cool with that. Taking off Sash probably onto that Regilecki. Lucky. Then we can just get rolled from here. That coming out from us like I love it. I'm fine with that all that. Now I get off this lovely tailwind and he's gonna glide before my tailwind comes out here. 
That's a little whack that, that happens. I'm prankster. Now we got tail and now, now there's a problem. Now we have a problem that you're hitting me like that. So I'm just gonna come in with the air slash. Come in with the air slash, you poor, poor grass slash. Now you slow down a little bit too. Thank grass god. Oh, this grass god's probably still gonna, still gonna hit on me. Definitely still gonna get after me. I could swagger, but he is physical attacking. Well, I could swagger onto the, the Reggie. I could swagger onto the Reggie. That could definitely be a play. Air Slash isn't going to be able to hit him, he's just going to crash you guys, so I am going to swagger onto the Reggie. Because we know he's special attacking, and we can at least get a confusion on him before we go out. I think it should be able to come out before Grass God, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Swagger. Go ahead, have your lovely attack use. Have it. Because you ain't going to use it. But take the ducks instead. Take the ducks, man. Hopefully he hits himself. There's the Grass God. That's exact. Oh. You son of a biscuit. I could have went for an Air Slash. I could've went for an air slash. You didn't grassy guide into my Tornadus? Bruh, come on, ducks. Do them dirty. Ducks, baby, ducks! <laughs> ducks are rocking out here. Ducks are definitely rocking out here. Uh, do I protect the Reg Lucky? How do I do this one? How do I do this one? Good swap to eye guard and swagger. So how many turns is left in this He's probably gonna pick up double kill now. We will still have one more turn left in Tailwind, which is huge. I think I have Slazzle and Zygarde back. Okay, so I can still swagger with that. So I don't want to protect. I'm just gonna E-Web. Blow down all these guys and just, uh... Let's go for an Air Slash, if that's the case. Let's see how this one's gonna play out here. Let's see how this one's gonna play out here. Here comes Grass Guy. Now he goes to my turn. Now he goes to my turn. And this thing still has Ducks rocking on him. I, I kind of want my Reg Lucky to go down here. I kind of would love that. Come on, Ducks. Don't, 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 don't hit him. We want you to not work. We want you to not work. Go ahead, get your move off. Thank you. Alright, Reg Lucky, you're dead. I wanted that. I wanted that. Considering now we can get out Salazzle and Zygarde. And that's going to be big with one more turn left in the Tailwind. I mean, these guys are rather slow, but I can definitely just get a free Swagger. I kind of just start dropping my thousand arrows left and right. And you could protect the bench. Like, I could definitely be play. Hmm. Do I swag? Do I actually swagger? I think. Do I swag? I think I have, yeah. I think I think I have the swagger here. And just drop that thousand arrows. That's gonna be not very effective. That's why I really want to maybe just go for a crunch, but I'll definitely go for these thousand arrows. And no, we do not want a sludge bomb. I could fake out. I can definitely see protects flying through, so I definitely just want to swagger up here. Let's see what happens here. Grass God's gonna fly. He's gonna send the Grass God. No protects coming out here. Swagger's gonna fly over here. And that's cool because Zygarde will definitely be able to take out Reggie Lucky, no problem. That thing is going to be rather slow. And I think the range should be ending rather soon, right? The range should be ending. Is it this turn? Yeah, it should the range should be gone after this, so I should be thriving here. I should be thriving because Reggie Lucky's down with plus. Two on our attack board. Um, this one's gonna be close. We can definitely still win it here. We can definitely still win it here because I think a sludge bomb board over he can just take out this little dude. I think he's not that high on the HP board. Grass train is going to be gone. Our tailwind's gone. And get out of here, Swain. All right. Uh, who's he gonna bring out now? That's a real question. Could be another fake out user. Could be another fake out user. So let's see. You could swap the robin, which if I was him, I would definitely do that. But it really depends on who else he has. It comes Tornadus here, which I'm totally cool with. I'm totally cool with that Tornadus coming out here. Because Thousand Arrows still hits that thing. Still hits him. And now I could just go for a Sludge Bomb. This is exactly what I'm going to do. And make sure I get rid of this Roll Let's do it. He's going to go for that ground move, though. going to end up with on the Roll Who's he going to fly out here? going to be Zassy. Okay, so Sludge Bomb isn't really going to do much to it. But I think he might just Earth Power my... Uh, you might just earth power my Slazzle, which I'm scared of. Sludge Bomb's gonna get nothing. And earth power is coming out here. That's gonna probably take out my Slazzle. That thing's an absolute beast. God dang it. There goes my poor Slazzle. Not my Slazzle, dude. So here goes a thousand arrows. Get some nice damage off. And these guys are eating. These guys are eating. And both of them definitely outspeed me 100%. That's gonna be GG's. That's definitely going to be GG. 
Oh man, dude. Come on, man. One and two. Definitely should be two and one. Definitely should be two and one. I'll take this loss, but that last loss about number two. No. I don't count that one. I don't count that one at all. But yo, this team was fun to use. I actually really, really liked it. I think Zygarde is pretty strong. They did like the Slazzle as well, even though we didn't get to, get to show him off through the fullest potential. I still feel like we got to show off the rest of the team pretty well. We get a free Sash. Do I outspeed this thing? I do not. I don't outspeed. Wreck. Whack. 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 But yo, GG's this guy. One and two for today's video. Had some solid battles all around. This team right here was the perfect mix of off meta Pokemon and meta Pokemon. We had some Pokemon like Regilecki, Tapu Fini, and Tornadus who were just like decently meta and used on all different teams. And then we had Zygarde over here who was like an off meta restricted mod, Salazzle who is definitely off meta, and Ferrothorn who I think is kind of mid, so I think he got to show off the best of both worlds with this team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. If you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.